Hey everyone, so in today's sketchbook session video, I'm going to be documenting how and why I abandoned this sketchbook. <laughs> um, yeah, this sketchbook, you know, the one where I did um, this in, it's, it's covered up, and, and this in, and a bunch of other like artworks that I'm really proud of, kind of proud of, happy with. Now, in case you haven't seen my Instagram stories from last Saturday, I'm going to be giving a little bit of context before jumping into the fun stuff. So long story short, I was uninspired. Uh, I was looking at other people's sketchbooks, but like making sure that all the sketchbooks I was looking at were like smaller than mine <laughs> to make myself like truly jealous. And then I decided, you know, enough is enough. I'm buying a new sketchbook. I declared it on my Instagram stories, basically like sealing my fate. And then I undeclared it on my Instagram story. So like sealing my fate is unsealed. So after sealing my unsealed fate on Instagram, I decided off Instagram that like, I really need a sketchbook. Yeah, I needed a sketchbook and I needed it like in 10 minutes maximum. That's pretty much it up to the point where I start filming. Cause I was like, Ooh, this is going to be great content. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're all, you're all cut up. I could start playing the clips. Here's me running down the stairs with socks, uh, putting my shoes on at Indigo, which is the only store that was open. It was closing in like 10 minutes. I, I had to run there. Um, here are the sketchbooks or at least like the ones that like were to my specifications. <laughs> The rest of the sketchbooks at Indigo like just weren't the right type. Like either the paper was wrong, the size was wrong, or it didn't have an elastic thing. So this sketchbook over here was almost perfect. I would have ignored the elastic issue. However, I tried it before when I was younger and it didn't go well with watercolor at all. So the paper is heavyweight, but it's just not good with watercolors, unfortunately. I ended up just buying the Moleskin A5 sketchbook. Another one. Which is kind of boring because I just, like, I have the Moleskin A4. That's the one I'm abandoning. Uh, yeah, I just got the smaller size and went back home. So what comes up next is just, like, pure insanity. Instead of being excited for the new sketchbook, I just start doubting myself like crazy. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll spare you guys the details. <laughs> Okay, so I think I finally come to terms with this whole this whole thing. <laughs> I think I finally calmed down and like I'm a hundred percent certain. Um, I'm even wearing black. I'm wearing black to like pay my respects. I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm done with this sketchbook. Um, I suppose I should explain like I feel like now's a good time to explain um, why I'm so done with this sketchbook. Cause I haven't done that. All I've done is like frantically film me getting the forbidden new sketchbook. It's the exact same sketchbook, like the exact same brand. And it was really, <laughs> it's pretty expensive. I'm just making myself nervous now. One second. It was really expensive. It was, it was $31 and this one was 35, which is kind of weird because well, it was on sale and it was on Amazon, which explains it. Anyways, the reason I'm changing sketchbooks is because this sketchbook, first of all, I started it November 1st and it's now June. I really love this first page. So that's the thing. I don't hate the art in my sketchbook. I just hate the size. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, overthinking everything. The size was just so much pressure for me. And I would always think like, I have to do, I have to make it fancy. I have to make it like really detailed and fill in every single space. Like, I don't know how to like, just calm down and let things be empty in a way. I literally finished 10 pages in 
eight months like i feel detached from it in a way because it's been so long and i've like abandoned it for quite a while so yeah there's just too much pressure associated with it and like my intention buying it was to like make full page illustrations super detailed backgrounds and it's just not possible i'm too used to my illo sketchbook which was closer to this size let me bring it so this is my illo sketchbook it was so fun like i felt comfortable just bringing it out and sketching random things i could show a couple pages because i did a whole sketchbook tour like one sketch here one sketch there and like the page was full and i put these little other stuff like one gouache painting some swatches and i was done like it wouldn't take too long to fill and i'd have fun and yeah <laughs> no it just has a lot of good memories so i really want to regain this feeling of fun and like i could bring out i could bring out this whenever i could bring it in my bag like to work and stuff this i tried bringing it to work it's so awkward like it's so huge that if i took it out at the bus station it would gain attention and i hate that also this is actually kind of taller than okay it's just a quarter of an inch i'm making a big deal <laughs> like looking at the three of them here i feel i really made the right decision like i'm starting to doubt myself a lot less but again this sketchbook is still really special to me the the, the 10 pages i made it's full of like memories and stuff there's no way i'm gonna like rip it apart or like cut the drawings out or something crazy like that. I'm gonna take good care of this. I'm gonna keep it, obviously. I'm not gonna, just, just, okay. Ooh. All right, time to open this. There's like no going back from this point because I can't, I can't return it, so. All right, this is exciting. So after that point, I started rambling about what I was going to do and I ended up doing nothing that I said I was going to do. So um, yeah, basically in this video, I'm filling up these two pages as well as like the front page or like the first page, uh, but that comes after. I didn't know I was going to fill the first page on camera, but I ended up doing it because I was in a good mood. Overall though, this was a really fun experience. I had a great time uh, sketching and I feel like I regained my love for art again, which sounds super dramatic and probably kind of annoying to hear <laughs> two videos in a row. Like I think last video I was talking about how much, oh, this helped me like art again when I did that brain dump illustration thing. I didn't lie, but like I kind of, kind of maybe stretched uh, or like was exaggerating the truth. Like after that video, I did not draw for like almost two weeks. And then I tried drawing and made a really bad uh, page. Like I just really hated how the page turned out and glued it shut. After that point, I did not touch my sketchbook in a really long time, which is kind of crazy. Like one page every two weeks is kind of a slow pace. Um, yeah, I just didn't feel inspired to bring it out anytime, which is weird. It felt so wrong. With my Illo sketchbook, I was always taking it out and like I was always waiting to finish school or to finish this uh, or like chores or whatever so then I could have fun in it. Not just for filming videos, but just like for myself. And I feel like with this sketchbook, I'm getting that same feeling back. Uh, like today, even though I'm not filming for a video, I took it out, I sketched a couple stuff that I might post on Instagram or I might just keep for myself. And I genuinely think I'm gonna have a good time in the sketchbook, uh, do some like character studies, uh, expressions, practice stuff, do some like, like quick gouache studies as well. Um, it's just the perfect size. I really enjoyed it. Um, even here on screen, I'm sketching this pose. I thought it wouldn't fit, but um, it did. And this is the most dramatic pose I have ever sketched in a really long time. Um, actually, I think ever. 
I don't know, the pose just turned out so good. I didn't use a reference photo, so maybe that had to do with it because sometimes when I use a reference photo, I stare at it way too long and it just ends up like super stiff. But yeah, this sketch of Annabeth Chase, in case you um, didn't recognize her, <laughs> she's, uh, I drew her as like the new actress she was chosen for the show. Um, I really like the actress choice. I think it was a wonderful decision and uh, I can't wait to see the show. I'm excited. Anyways, I kind of went off topic there, but yeah, dramatic pose for the first time in a really long time. I usually just draw people sitting or standing. So this was really exciting and fun. This sketchbook just makes me want to try things and like have fun with it, um, which is exactly what I was missing. Now, I don't think it is purely because my old sketchbook was A4 size. I think it just had negative connotations in my mind. Like my whole fourth sketchbook previously, all it represented in my mind, I feel, was art block. That's like the main theme of it. Just months and months of art block, sketching once, then not sketching for like three, four weeks. So I think that's what was slowing me down this summer. And I wish I decided to start a new sketchbook sooner because it would have saved me a lot of time. I feel like I'm drawing things that I like to draw again and I'm getting back into myself sort of. So yeah, the next few videos are gonna be really fun, I hope. I have tons of ideas, probably too many ideas if I'm being honest, but um, I'm excited. I haven't been excited in so long, it feels weird. So if you're going through like this weird month long, two month long, like six month long art blocks and it just doesn't seem to end and you're using a sketchbook and you just don't feel like drawing in it anymore, it's weird. But if you're going through something similar, I don't know if this is good advice or not. Either way, it kind of worked for me. I would suggest just like starting again, like turning a new leaf. I feel like social media, no offense, uh, just made it standard for people to finish their sketchbooks and just push through it as if it's some sort of like chore. And it's admirable when people manage to finish it, especially if you're like five pages away from finishing your sketchbook. Like that, I can understand pushing through. Uh, I experienced that with my Illo sketchbook, even though I loved it, I was getting so tired. But this was something else. I was only 10 pages in and I was feeling so much regret and uh, yeah, I don't think anyone should feel forced to fill a sketchbook. It's not, it's supposed to be a safe space for like drawing and sketching and having fun in. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope this encourages anyone who needs it <laughs> in a way. Um, yeah, this felt, this felt so good. It felt like renewed, it felt reborn. I was like a baby drawing this. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling now. Uh, <laughs> this part I start painting. Um, I don't wanna keep rambling because I feel it's gonna get super annoying. So I'll let you guys enjoy this part in peace um, and come back in a bit, maybe. I'm pausing the time lapse because I want to point out how awesome this one group is. Look at that. Look at look at the shape of that. Um, moving on. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, well, I'm back voiceovering for this one. 
uh, I decided to paint on top of the pencil sketch because I really liked the pencil sketch. This is probably my favorite sketch of 2022. Um, so yeah, I love the, the smoothness. No, the looseness of the sketch and I wanted to preserve that. And I knew that if I went over it with colored pencils after like erasing it with a kneaded eraser, uh, I would lose some of that. So yeah, I'm really happy with my choice to go over the pencil. It gave it like this grainy uh, smudged look, which I actually really enjoyed. I kind of stopped using watercolors for a while. I don't know why, but in my old sketchbook, I don't think I brought out my watercolors in a couple months even. I was focusing on like gouache and oil pastels for a bit and then I pretty much did nothing. So I'm really happy to be back to watercolors and colored pencil combination. Uh, it's like my go-to medium. Well, or at least like it used to. It used to be my favorite medium. And I think it's returning to that placeholder. So I usually don't show this part, but I had to varnish these two pages. Uh, otherwise they'd smudge and destroy each other. <laughs> Uh, especially the cat there, it was done just with pencil. Uh, I forgot to mention, the cat like was actually an accident. I didn't actually want to draw a cat, I just had no better ideas. So it's kind of random. Now this cat, this cat over here is my cat Ziku. I was about to call him a kitten, but he's not a kitten anymore. He hasn't been that for like two years. Anyways, I drew Ziku standing on my head and poking out of my hoodie. Um, and then I wrote some sketchbook goals over here. My camera didn't catch the last bit over there, unfortunately. <laughs> I didn't feel like drawing anything else on that page or like the, the other side of the cover. So I just stuck that sticker there. It was like robot parts. Here's the fun part where I painted my hoodie bright orange <laughs> and yeah this was such a blast i feel like i said that way too many times but like this time it's for real it's not like the previous video where i said i had fun and i kind of did honestly i feel like i was just desperate for this art block to be over and so i had to try and like convince myself that it was so the goose doesn't fit unfortunately so I'm just gonna put this over here for now, but if I'm designing the cover and I really wanna put it, I could take it off really easily because I'm just taping it temporarily. This is the final stretch of the this, this video. Uh, I just wrote the start date and the end date over here. Well, the end date placeholder. Now, to be honest, I kind of regret what I did here, which is like outlining that drawing in yellow. Um, I feel like it, it looked better on white. It just like better contrast uh, overall, but it's okay. I still really like it. And I kind of want to turn this into a sticker maybe. It's, it's kind of weird, but I like, I like the weirdness. So yeah, that's it for this video, I think. Oh my God, I just can't stop. Like, I'm so excited. I'm I'm in the mood to draw still. So like, next video hopefully won't be here. It will be like further on in my sketchbook. Probably here if I'm being realistic. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a blast making this video. I feel like. I feel like I'm excited again about art and that hasn't been the case in a really long time. I'm probably gonna voice over and talk a lot about that. So I won't ramble for too long over here. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in next week's video, which will be really exciting. Uh, I have a collaboration plan and I'm either gonna do fan art or um, their fan art, Legend of Zelda fan art, or a character design. I'm not sure which, but uh, it's like whichever one I'm in the mood for at the time. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a week or a week and a half, most likely just a week. Bye.